Right, here I am ready to download the open GD77 uh, CPS program, which is what we need to upgrade the firmware on the DM5R. I've said before, I really struggle with GitHub, uh, finding my way around it. So um, I found this uh, here now, which is the, the actual download of the software. I'll leave a link to it uh, in the description below. Um, so that you can find it a little bit more easily. Uh, we want the installer program here. You can see OpenGD77 CPS installer. We'll click on that. It's downloaded for us. So give it a moment and then we can uh, open it up and install it. Okay, we're ready to go. So we'll just open that. Um, get this warning, the software is fine, there's nothing to worry about, so we'll just run that anyway. And uh, Windows is now asking us if uh, we wanted to make changes. You won't see that in your display, I'll just say yes. And uh, we're now presented with the option to uh, change the directory where the file is stored I'll just go with the standard one okay I've already got an earlier version of this program installed on this machine if you haven't obviously you won't get uh, you won't get that so we'll have a desktop shortcut and we'll install so now uh, we're ready to launch the program and here it is Okay, before we start, we need to put the radio into programming mode in order to update the firmware. What we're going to need to do is we've got those two buttons, one above the PTT and one below. So we need to press and hold those and at the same time, while still holding them, turn the rig on. Okay. And you'll see now we've got the LED illuminated, but the display has nothing on it. Okay, so this radio now is in programming mode. And when we plug in the USB programming lead, we'll be good to go. Programming mode, as I showed you, I've got the USB programming lead plugged into my PC. And incidentally, um, the RD5R and the DM5R use the same programming lead as the Bofeng uh, DM860 or 1801. It's a totally different lead from the GD77 and the UV5R, which is a different lead again. So you need to make sure, obviously, before you do this, that you do have the right uh, programming lead for your radio. Now we've got the Open GD77 CPS uh, open. If we go to extras and we choose a firmware loader, we need to select the radio type um, RD5R DM5R tier 2. That's the radio that we've got. We need to download the file. And we've now got um, a list of potential uh, downloads. Um, Obviously, it's up to you which one you choose. Um, there's various here. The latest stable release, if perhaps you want to play it safe, would be that one then. And what was that, 16th of October? So we'll select that one. I haven't really looked into this. It may be there are certain bugs in um, the later ones. They may be okay, but. We'll just use this stable release from October. We'll select and continue that. And you'll see now that um, the firmware, the new firmware is being uploaded to the uh, DM5R. It only takes a couple of seconds. So we let that run through the process. So it's done. Um, we've got the confirmation it's been successful. We just need to click that and as it tells us to do 
uh, we'll reboot the radio just by turning it off and turning it back on again okay we can just confirm I've gone to the um, firmware settings in the menu and we can see now that we're looking at my DM5R and it's uh, got the open firmware successfully installed here's my trusty uh, DM860 Bofeng uh, sort of my daily uh, use DMR handy and you can see here that it's programmed up with the various talk groups that I use on my uh, hotspot at home here uh, the code plug uh, I'm using is one that I downloaded from a site I'll put a link in or again on the description uh, it's a golf mic one station uh, that um, wrote this code plug and um, it's got various uh, quite interesting frequencies various repeaters and so on pre-programmed but of course if you're using your own hotspot you'll have to do what I did and add an extra zone with the frequency of your hotspot and the channels that you want to use the talk groups that you want to use but what I'm going to do rather than write um, a new code plug for the DM5 which isn't necessary because it's now fully compatible with a code plug in this uh, 860 it would also be compatible with a GD77 we can just read this DM860 and then we'll upload the code plug to the DM5R and I'll show you that working I've now got my DM860 plugged into the PC and uh, we're going to read the contents of the radio um, so we just press the key there press the button and you'll see it's now reading the DM860 if we look we've got the various zones various channels that are programmed into the uh, radio and most importantly uh, we've got the uh, DMR ID you can alter this I could put my call sign in there um, that doesn't really matter the DMR uh, the DMR ID is the, the key thing we want we just alter that um, now what we can do very quickly and very easily is to put this in our DM5R so that we've then got an identical code plug loaded so plug the DM5R in all we have to do is write to the radio write the same code plug and I'll show you in a moment the uh, display on the DM5R when this is finished and you see that everything's loaded up so that's done okay and you can see that we've got the zones that I had in the DM860 various zones that we can go to and we can scan in now in the DM5R so the programming is um, absolutely identical And we've turned this radio, certainly in my opinion, to a much, much more usable device. I'll just uh, turn it back on. Okay. The only thing, and the only drawback, I don't consider it a drawback, maybe some people would. The DM5R comes with, similar to the UV5R, a little torch on the top. But also an FM radio, FM broadcast radio, which tunes, I think, between 76 and 108 megahertz. You do lose the FM radio facility. Um, but there is a key press for the, the torch. But currently, uh, with this software and firmware, you do lose the FM radio facility. But it's not something I would use on a DMR radio and I think the open firmware changes this from what is a pretty poor DMR radio to be honest to a much more usable one um, unlike the 860 here the DM5R isn't really suitable as a hotspot so if you're looking for a high power hotspot which open firmware does allow you to use your radio for that 
you're better off with either a DM1801, DM860 like this, or a GD77. They work fine as a hotspot, this will not. So, aside from that, this quick upgrade absolutely transforms the radio.